Alison's been really busting for the last two days to do or talk about a one of her favourite movies. Yeah, absolutely. There's heaps of favourite movies, but this is like a very interesting one. It is. So we're going to talk about Dark City. Anyone who hasn't seen Dark City, we suggest that you go watch Dark City because we feel Dark City has real golden gems mm. of what could be happening in this game situation that yeah, we live in. What we call life. Yes, exactly. I'm going to read out um, a bit of a synopsis of Dark City so yeah. people have an idea of what the movie's actually about. The main character is John. John awakens in a hotel with no memory and learns that he is wanted for a series of murders. While seeking answers, he discovers a group of aliens called the Strangers who are controlling the city. Mm. The reason why I wanted to talk about this is because the movie in itself has explained how much I feel like this movie relates to our life. Mm. Because in this movie, it's pretty much nighttime the whole time. Yeah, no sun. There's no sun. No blue sky. Nothing like that. It's nighttime. And the reason why I love this movie so much is because everyone gets reset every single night. Yep, they do. So do you want to explain what happens? If you haven't watched it, mm. you might. You might get some spoiler alerts. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was about to say. Yeah. Pretty much these strangers do an experiment yeah. on humans in this so-called dark city. Mm-hmm. Where they are needing to know, is it their emotions or their essence? Or They're wanting to know what the what makes the human soul a human soul. Yeah. Yeah. So what they do is every night they change everybody to a different character. Yeah. So we were talking about this today, actually. Yeah. It's like, for example, there's this couple who are poor in poverty and then the next night they get changed. The scenery, everything gets changed, yeah. buildings, the whole lot. This couple gets changed to be a wealthy couple. Yeah. And the funny thing is they think they've been rich or wealthy their whole all life. their life. Yeah. They're like talking about, I don't, I can't remember exactly what they're talking about, but they could be talking about a friend of theirs, Bob, that they think they've, they've known for 10 years. Yeah. But they've only just been changed to a wealthy couple five minutes ago. Yeah. So every 24 hours, yeah. all the humans, characters in this dark city get switched over to another Character. Character. Yeah. Another life experience. Yeah. Every 24 hours and they have no recollection of the previous night. Because they're completely reset. Exactly. Yeah. And that's Mind what, wiped. Exactly. And that's what we feel happens with us in this reality. Because a lot of talk that there's been many, many resets in this what we call life game yeah. scenario. Yeah. Where literally we get brain wiped where i mean it happens where you can be thinking of something or talking about something and next thing you know it's gone exactly like, Hang on a minute where'd that go exactly so that's why alice want to bring it up because it's a uh, on par to what we are all experiencing yeah even if you're conscious of it or not no even if you're not conscious of it it could just be as simple like you said you know having a conversation and all of a sudden it's just gone what you're about to talk about and this happens i'm sure to everyone they're in the middle of a conversation. They know exactly where they're going with the conversation. And then in a split second, completely gone. And I was talking to you today about me winning Touch Lotto. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I was out. So this is a memory I had, which I forgot all about until just today. I don't know why, but I said to Alison, because we were editing, as you do. And I said to her, I just remember winning Tats Lotto. I was at Mountain Gate, because we live near Mountain Gate in Victoria. One Tats Lotto, and somebody can't go, you finally did it, Jason. You finally won it. Because I always know that I was going to win it. Yeah. Then, after that, I believed I got reset. Or mm -hmm. the game or the realm got reset. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get a chance. I was allowed to win it, mm -hmm. but not experience it. Mm -hmm. So I won the money, and then that was it. Reset. And, here, and, and I believe I'm here again, repeating similar stuff, without the winning of Tats Lotto. Yeah. This may sound far-fetched. Yeah, this is our life. <laughs> yeah, well, that's exactly it. We've heard people have experiences of uh, of something and then the next minute they know that they've been reset because they have the memory of, mm. some, of a catastrophe happening as yep. well. And 
The interesting thing, besides the fact that we feel like we've been reset and this place and the world and our reality and everyone gets reset all the time, I want to bring up in the movie, a point in the movie with John, Mm. he was the only one that was able to awaken, let's say. Yeah, I think because from memory, because I haven't seen the movie for a while, Keith Keith Sutherland, Yeah, he was able to give back all his memories. Something along those lines. Like, Keitha Sutherland, Sutherland's character was working for the strangers. Yep. He was injecting everyone with new memories every night. Mm. And, oh, no, I do remember that he was about to inject the main character who plays John, mm. and then John's defensive mechanism uh, came out, and he, oh. can't, and he shot the injection across the room or something oh, along that those lines. Right. that broke. Yeah, exactly. Smashed. Yeah. And it's amazing because this one person had just proven that they have the same mental capacity as these alien creatures or alien beings. Yeah. And we all have that within us. Because these strangers could fly, couldn't they? Yeah, they were, they were able to fly and... They were warp, all mental, psychic. Yeah, and warp things around. Yeah, cause it, change the matrix. Exactly. So they were able to change the matrix. The poor couple's house turned into a, a wealthy couple's house Yeah. within five minutes. Yeah. They were able to add buildings and take away buildings. and But the character, John, knew that he, he didn't understand what was going on but he had the same psychic development as these strangers did. Yes, psychic gift, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And we all have this psychic gift within us. We all have what we call our sovereignty yeah. within us. Yeah. But we really wanted to bring up the topic of this movie because of the fascination of the whole reset and how it's so closely related to what we feel is going on today.